Good evening, everyone. Welcome to week six of Final Score Friday. We have reached the end of this abbreviated regular season. And while a lot had changed during this short schedule, some things never change. That's right. The end of the schedule still sees Highland Springs take on Verona, regardless of the year or the season. There are almost always playoff implications on the line. No different this year. The winner would move on to the postseason. If you recall, Verina ended the Springer's 40 game undefeated streak back in 2019. First quarter, no score. Springer's drew first blood behind quarterback Jawan Dent on the keeper. Gives Highland Springs a 7 0 lead. Second quarter, same score. Bad pitch by Bobby Dunn and Oklahoma commit Kelvin Gilliam Jr. gets the recovery for the Springer's. That led to a field goal and a 10 0 halftime lead. Fourth quarter after Verina picked off Dent. Jalen Walker, who's headed to JMU in the fall, scores from seven yards out to trail 10-7. But on the next Hollow Springs possession, they go to Jordan Jackson. He caps his big nine with a 48-yard touchdown. Springers win 17-7, and they'll play in the Region 5B semifinals next week. Next season begins, and, and we'll see how it all works out, right? I don't know. I've heard a lot of things about the playoffs. I don't know where we'll be seeded, but we get a chance to continue playing, and that's a good thing. Uh, and I hope the weather warms up for us. Amen. Amen, <laughs> Coach. Amen. Out to the West End for deep running Mills Godwin. Neither team is going to make the playoffs, but tonight the final home game for retiring Wildcats head coach Chad Hornick. We picked this one up in the first quarter. Bo Kite 60 yard, 67 yards up top to Miles Ellis and an 8-0 lead for the Wildcats. Then Kite again with a keeper around the right side, 14-0. Then later, Kite would block a punt. I heard he sold hot dogs at halftime as well. Corey Crump takes it in from 30 yards out. Wildcats send Coach Hornick out a winner, 28 to nothing over the Eagles. I'm just proud we left this place a lot better than we found it. And I'm um, just super proud of my coaching staff and players for hanging in every year and coming back and getting better and better and working harder and harder. And it's just, just great to do all that. Heads off to Chad Hornick. Prince George holding on to the final playoff spot at Region 5B, heading into tonight, taking on a Meadowbrook team still looking for their first win of the spring. Early on, Jaheim White for Prince George picks off the pass from Meadowbrook, and it will set up Curtis Allen, one of the underrated running backs in the region. A 25-yard touchdown run coming right now, and a 12-0 lead for the Royals. More Allen in the game. How about this? Six yard run, or eventually will be a six yard run. Royals led 26 0 at the break, and they get the victory over Meadowbrook. Final 36 to nothing. Hermitage going for a perfect season and hanging on to the top spot in Region 5B, looking for their first playoff bid in three seasons. And behind them, and Nigel James. Mm. 61 yard run as he sheds off tacklers. He's that gave them a 6 0 lead. One more James, no yes. problem. James yes. again, this time just from three yards out, 14-0 Hermitage at that point. Then Jalen Burton is going to connect rather on a 31-yard pass to Alhaji Kamara, 20 to nothing. Panthers rolling the Cat Bowl tonight, 41 to nothing over the Tigers. Up to Hanover for Patrick Henry and Mechanicsville. The Patriots looking for their first undefeated regular season since 2005. Pick it up in the first quarter, no score. James Epps changes that. Two yard touchdown run, two point conversion, good. Eight nothing Patriots. 16 nothing Patriots in the second. Jordan Callahan up top to Dallas Hartfield. 50 yard Good touchdown. Try. That's a beautiful play. Mechanics go down 16 to 7. But Jordan Allen and Patrick Henry will come back. His Christian Berry for the seven yard touchdown. Patriots finish the undefeated regular season 6 0, 37 13 the final. And Ryko trying to avoid their first winless season in nearly 20 years. They were hosting Glenn Allen tonight, first quarter. 7 0 Jaguars. Jordan Greenhow, 41 yard run, puts the Jaguars up 14 to nothing. Then Jordan Brown, 22 yard pass to Haywood Tucker. Wow. It is 21 to nothing, Glenn Allen. Second quarter, and Ryko going for it on fourth and one. But watch this big stop Ooh. in the middle by Jake Toomey. <laughs> that would set up a Greenhow 48 yard pass to Dominic Dutton, who goes over the middle 28 to nothing. At that point, all Jaguars tonight as they finish off a 34 to 13 win over the Warriors. Still to come, we're going to show you what happened last night and eventually get to the rest of the scores for week six. Stay with us. 